Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. So in this video, uh, we are going to talk, uh, continue talking about threading. And in this one, we're going to introduce a couple of uh, useful functions, which is thread.sleep, that's a static function on the thread class. And thread.join, that's an instance uh, uh, method that, uh, that allows us to uh, have the main thread wait for the thread this join function is called on. Uh, it, it, it has the main thread waiting uh, for execution to be done on that thread before the main thread continues to uh, execute uh, whatever it has to execute. And thread.sleep is a static function uh, that uh, that when you call it uh, uh, what whatever thread it happens to be on it will put that thread to sleep uh, uh, sort of like uh, uh, waiting and not doing anything uh, for the duration that's passed in here in milliseconds. So this is the same program we left off with so let's go ahead and run it to make sure we are on the same page and the issue we were having uh, with this program is we didn't know uh, uh, which of these print statements uh, would come first. Like for example, here I ran it twice. Uh, one time the child uh, uh, print statement came first, and the second time the main thread uh, print statement came first. So this is not good. We don't want to have unpredictable behavior like this. So one thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to remove this call in the main thread, and I'm just going to have the thread do something else. Uh, let's say print something. Well actually I can just print the same thing. It shouldn't shouldn't be an issue except what we're going to get is the name of the main thread right here. Okay so let's first show what the thread that sleep function will do. Okay, thread that sleep. So let's have it sleep for five seconds. Okay, uh, so this is in milliseconds, so 5,000 milliseconds is five seconds. So let's go ahead and call this. Now, this is going to sleep for five seconds. Now, this is the function that's called by the child thread. Now, it will the child thread will be called the, the the thread will sleep for five seconds and then this will be printed now circum there are, there are some very rare circumstances where the main thread will wait for that long so we're almost certainly sure that the main thread will print this statement before those five seconds end so we sort of increase the probability that it's always the main thread that's going to finish first. So let's go ahead and, and look at this. So main thread prints, waits for five seconds, and then you get the, the child thread. Now you can do this uh, a lot of times, but most, I'm almost certainly sure the main thread is going to print first, and then the child thread. But what's What's more of a sure, uh, an assured uh, way to do this is to use the thread that join function. This is an instance method you can call on that uh, child thread that's created. So let's go ahead and call it here, thread that join. What this will do is right here, execution. execution will stop will stop right here on the main thread okay so uh, when the program gets to this call it will wait for the child thread to finish execution before it goes on to make these calls right here to execute these lines so let's go ahead let's remove this 
since we don't need it anymore. So let's go ahead and run this program. So it will wait for the child thread to finish before it goes at it goes ahead and uh, and and run the rest of the uh, 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 main thread lines. So let's go ahead and put back just to put a nail in the coffin there, the last nail in the coffin. Let's go ahead and call thread that sleep here. Let's make it wait for uh, five seconds again. It shouldn't be. We don't want to wait too long. So this is gonna sort of prove that actually the 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 main thread is going to wait for after those five seconds. That print statement is gonna go, and then uh, the main the main thread is gonna continue its execution. So let's let's go again. So you can see the main thread is not printing. It's gonna wait for those five seconds, and then print the child, and then print the main. So using the th that join and using the join uh, the thread that join function, an instance method that you would call on a thread that you created. Uh, this will make sure that the main thread waits uh, uh, before um, you know whatever thread that started this child thread will wait uh, 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 for that child thread to finish execution before continuing uh, to execute the rest of the statements in that program. So in this video we uh, sort of introduced uh, thread that sleep and thread that joint function. Uh, thread that sleep is a static method that uh, wherever you call it, whatever the thread is, is gonna get that thread to sleep for the duration that you provide to it. And thread that join allows you to tell the the creator thread or the parent thread uh, to have it wait for the child thread that was created into it, and uh, or the child thread that this function is called on. Uh, uh, to finish uh, before uh, the parent thread continues its execution. Hopefully that was clear enough. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, go ahead and, and subscribe if you want more of these videos. Like, uh, hit the like button if, if you like the videos and, and you know throw questions at me if you have any. Alright, I'll see you next time. Thanks.